Well, hey guys, uh, it's Tracy from Nova Scotia Living, and yes, I am back in Canada still. <laughs> uh, it's the evening, the same day that I uploaded my first video of when we left Halifax and got to Mexico, but I thought I have a minute to edit another video so I can get it uploaded and published tomorrow morning because I have a few videos to get going, and I love sharing those with you, but I want to start sharing current, you know, day current day videos with you too but I want to get through these ones first not that I'm trying to rush through them but you catch my drift right so anyways I have this one uh, all edited but I wanted to make sure I put like a little tag at the beginning so uh, here's day well it's really the first official day in Mexico um, yeah starting with my morning coffee well our room's just about ready but there's this beautiful coffee bar here and I'm going to make myself a coffee because I have not had one today. Only I don't have my Big Jack, the Pumpkin King mug, but I do have this fancy little little one. Now, I'm sure they won't have Stevia. Maybe they will. You never know. But that's okay. I got milk in this pitcher of cool ice water. And look at all this stuff. It's just an abundance of gloriness, glorious stuff. I don't know if this is tea. No, coffee and tea service. This is wonderful. Yes, yes. Anyways, I'm going to put a little milk because I don't see cream. And yeah, I'll sit down. My husband's over there sitting where I was having a little bit of whiskey. <laughs> just a little sniff. And then he's going to sleep. friends well it is 746 in Canadian time I don't know Mexican time yet we came back here and had a nap and just woke up a little while ago so I didn't even do a room tour but this is what's in our little mini fridge automatic it looks like tequila Bacardi rum uh, vodka some chips some pop and water little coffee maker and that's the safe that you put your own um, you know coat in and then here oh I'm stepping on stuff there's an iron and a robe an ironing board and some slippers now the room looks kind of a mess now because we just really came in here I got some shorts on got a bathing suit on just now it's my husband's little carry-on I'm cleaning out my book bag because I'm going to carry a book bag around with me with just like my EpiPen and puffer and stuff. But it's a big king size bed. There's no floor length mirror. So I'll show you if I can get up here. Oh, sugar. Can you see that? No, oh, you can't. Let me take my flash off. Well, it's still on for goodness. Well, it's dark. Let me open these. I'm standing up on the bed. We are right beside the pool. Like, you can see the pool from here. And there's a little patio thing, a little stone patio. But do I look like a superhero with the one sleeve? My muscles showing. These were the shorts my son was said that were inappropriate. Yeah, they're short, but I'm on vacation in Mexico and nobody knows me. And I'm at the beach. I don't know what the heck's going on outside, but people are cheering. There's music playing. I got my sunglasses on, so, yeah, and if you can see this bathing suit, it's kind of, it's a one-piece one, I'm not going to jump right into trying to wear a bikini, that's right, it's see-through there, kind of, like mesh, see-through there, my nips aren't showing, you can see a little bit of my button there and jelly belly, but that's okay, I don't care, they're my battle scars from having such a beautiful family, so, that's what we're going out, because, I feel like going swimming. I'm going swimming. These are little flip-flop sketcher sandals that I got for the trip. 
first time wearing them. I mean, I tried them on when I got them, but <clears throat> they're not rinky-dink $5 ones from Walmart that I usually get. These were, I don't know, 35 40 bucks, but they're for my trip. Oh, yeah. All right, we're trying a couple more drinks. This is a mojito, and this is a pina colada. We're going to share them. Just waiting for the little trolley. We're gonna go check out a beach. That's a stout little horse. Huh? I know. Like the little teapot. Short and stout. We're on one of those things. And we're going to Tulum to check out that resort and beach. Listening to some jams. This is the resort Tulum, and there's a beach here, so we're going to go see if we can find the beach. It looks like another fancy place. Wow. There's birds in here, too. We have access to all the restaurants and everything in here, too. There's one over there. I know it's windy, but I wanted to come and see the ocean the first day that we were here. Hopefully you can hear me. And I wonder if the tide goes up and down here. I don't know. Do you think the tide goes up and down? This is a beautiful resort too. I don't want to go in with my sandals. I do want to go in, but not with my sandals. I got my bare feet. Woo! Oh, it's a little cooler than I thought it was going to be. It's not like uh, at home. <coughs> yeah. I just wanted to get my... Yeah. There's this little, I don't know what it is. Do you guys know what kind of animal that is? It looks like a rat and a rabbit. It's cute. It doesn't have a tail like a rat, but I, we see him running around here. I don't know. They're minding their own business, so we'll mind our own. This is still in Tulum, some bar. They're playing music. Looks beautiful here. I don't know. I would just get a mineral water, like carbonated water, if they have it. Look at that lady's shirt. She looks like she has a bikini on. That lady's shirt looks like she has a bikini on. <laughs> Funny. This is the Baha'i Thai, the cocktail of the day here in Tulum. And we're just waiting for the band to rock out. Oh, they're getting set up. I'm excited to hear what they sound like. I'm almost done my Baha'i, uh, what is it called? Baha'i Thai? No. Baha'i Thai. I don't know. We'll see.
drummer just had a cowbell. I was thinking that he was going to hook it up, but he put it back down. There's always room for cowbell, isn't there? lighting's bad but we went to the buffet here in Tulum and there's so much stuff I couldn't even get to it all but I got a hamburger some rotoni some grilled chicken and pork a sausage roll on a stick some veggie fried rice and homemade guacamole with fresh made tortilla chips and just craziness I'm gonna dig in all right guys we're still at Tulum and I'm eating my buffet plate that I got my husband just went to go get another plate full. But after I had those three plate bowls earlier today, when we first got there, I had to go lay down. I was tired, and my stomach was upset. Not that the food was bad. It was so good. I just ate so much. But, um, so tonight, I'm just eating one plate. <laughs> Even though there's so many more things out there to go try. But I have seven days to do it, and it's going to be good. I'm not doing, I'm not, I'm being careful though because I'm allergic to nuts and fish, and I'm carrying my book bag with me that has my EpiPen in it and my um, pepper and Benadryl and stuff, just in case. But so far, everybody's been so nice, so professional. This place is so clean and smoothly run. This. This place is, you know, run like a tight ship, and everybody is so friendly, and yeah, I love it. It's nice. Right now, I'm not having any more alcohol. I only had two drinks, but this is just carbonated water with a slice of lime on top. Now, there's a bunch of desserts out there, but I don't think I can handle it. I can't handle my sweets. But I messaged, um, I got a hold of, I forget if I told you, I got a hold of Medea. And she spread the word. So everybody knows we arrived safe and sound. These homemade uh, tortilla chips are like still warm. Craziness. Mm. I'd like to take the little trolley back to this resort again during the daytime because it, it looks like another beautiful spot. And there's one called Coba and Akamal or something like that. There's a casino here. Not that I know how to use machines or I can play Crazy Eights, but that's not really a gambling game. So, anyways, I'm gonna finish my food. Then we're gonna go wait for the trolley. It runs every 10 minutes, so we can just go from resort to resort. 
all access because we got our bracelet. And then we can uh, go back go back to our temporary home for the week. So I'll be back. Alright, so I had to walk walk a ways to find the women's bathroom, but I found it. So I'm just on my way back to the to the buffet dining hall. There's a nice breeze going on. It's nice and warm and yeah, I'm just enjoying my time. We'll see, he's over there having some sushi right now, so. But the sushi here all has fish in it. If I was to have sushi, I'd need the veggie sushi because I'm allergic, but he can, I can live vicariously through him. So, anyways, let's go find him. So, we're just walking over. Um, my husband just went to the loo so we can catch the, the little trolley back. But there's a bunch of kids over there dancing to the screen. It looks like Angry Birds dancing to new songs. I want to go over there and do it. Fun. Alright, we caught the trolley back. Sounds like there's live music going on at our place too. We'll have to go check it out. People all downstairs, people all outside, it's fancy fancy. <laughs> well we got two fancy drinks, has a nightcap, they're so cool, one of them's wearing sunglasses. So we're back at our resort, listening to music, a band just left and now this guy's up there, so, yes. <laughs> We're just laying by the pool for a few minutes before we go to bed. There's a restaurant over there. We're on the loungers. Ah, perfect. All right, guys. <laughs> what you think of that? That was a really good night. It was the first day exploring the resorts and learning where we can go and what we can do. And we went over to, what did I say? It was Tulum. Yeah. That was a beautiful resort. Like the resort that we stayed at, Cyan Can or Shine Can, people say it differently, um, was an all adult uh, resort. And it was absolutely gourmet kind of stuff there. Like phenomenal, mind blowing stuff. But it was really nice to get out to the other resorts during the day. We like to go back to ours, our resort, you know to go to sleep or for little breaks during the day because it was quiet there but those other resorts um, they were really busy with families and kids and you know people of all ages there um, young adults and their hijinks and stuff you know what I'm saying but it added to it added another element to our vacation too so it was nice to go exploring but that day was the first day we left our resort um, and went to see this one and we didn't know the entertainment that was going to go on and that band was fantastic uh, I know my camera doesn't pick up the audio real great of, You know for things, but they did a fantastic job I especially like the drummer in that bit in the, that band He was a great big guy with a set of little drums and he was rocking it out. He really was he was doing really good and I gotta say like I didn't go to this on this vacation to like oh all you can eat and drink now all you can eat really appeals to me all you can drink no not really I'd on average I'd have maybe two or three drinks in a whole day and um, maybe four on occasion maybe but I at no point did I ever want to get intoxicated if you know what I'm saying so it was really neat to try these different drinks that they had so you'll notice in the videos to come I'm trying something different almost every day like just it looks different and has a pretty name I want to try it, it has a weird name I want to try it and uh, yeah the drinks that I had I have to say I've liked every single one some of them were really sweet which would be good on occasion other ones were you know a little dry or harsh but still good in its own right um, but yeah it was neat to have the opportunity to try all these different things and try all this different food and not have to clean up not that I purposely made messes I'd always put my garbage where the garbage needed to go and everything like that but that was a really good night and just getting my feet in the ocean 
felt so good. It's such a powerful element, and yeah, yeah, it was fun. It was fun. So, anyways, guys, I hope you like this video. I'm gonna start this uploading tonight. Abby's actually here for a sleepover. I just got the kids to bed. It's 20 after nine now. Marquis just got home with his uh, lady friend, Zoe, and uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, my husband had to go back to Halifax today. The day after we got home from our vacation, he had to go right back up to the city, which is, you know, two and a half, three hour drive. He had uh, work to do, so he's not back yet. He'll be back at some point. I think he was going to stop to Costco and pick up a few things. Hard to say what he'll get, but I'm just giving you the lowdown of the day. Lowdown of the day. I'm, I've washed all the clothes in our suitcases. I'm not completely unpacked with little knickknacks and things, paperwork and whatever, but I'll get there, I'll get there, I'm not going to stress about it, I'm not going to stress at all. The kids had nachos and salsa and stuff like that for supper, I didn't make anything big, it was just a rigmarole kind of day. I did go into town this afternoon, Evie was here in the morning, he got, he went home with his mama at 1.30 when she got done work, I went right into town after the kids got home just from school, I had to get some errands done. I had to drop off some vanilla I picked up for the travel agent. She asked me if I could pick her up some vanilla from Mexico because it's the best vanilla ever. So I got myself a little jar and just put it up in the cupboard. But I dropped that off to her. Stopped to get a receipt. Stopped to get my income tax, which is all done. That was all submitted, but I had to pick up the actual paperwork. Stopped to see my dad. I got him a little sombrero magnet. He, he's not a material person. And when I talked to him, before I even got home yesterday, I said, I got you a big sombrero. And he's like, oh, no, you didn't. Uh, I said, yes, I did. Anyways, when I went in there today, it's just a little tiny magnet that goes on his fridge. So I gave that to him, gave him a big hug, and stopped at the dollar store because the kids ate every single last treat in this house while we were gone on vacation. Of course, none of them admit to it, but I had to go stock up on lunch treats and lunch stuff to make lunches, which I did pack their lunches today with Misha's help. So thank you, Mish. And yeah, just filling you in because I, it's weird not filming throughout the day, but I'm going to use this opportunity to, you know, just get my house in order and uh, be ready to rock when the time comes. So anyways, guys, I'll get another adventure video up um, in the days to come. So peace, love, and happiness today and every single day. Please like, share, and subscribe if you so choose. If not, that's okay too. I still love you. I still want all the happiness in the world for each and every one of you out there. I certainly do. I really honest and truly do. If you can't tell, I am so revived, so rejuvenated. I didn't realize I was so depleted. Not depleted in a like, oh, woe is me kind of way, but I'm just like, whoa. I don't know. I have a little uh, spring in my step, I guess, but I guess that's what a vacation will do to you, right? So anyways, guys, have a good night or have a good morning and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Boink.